Hello everyone, my name is Louise Jett and I'm the Social Media Manager for the Ethical Society of St. Louis. In this video, I will go over how to join a Zoom meeting and how to navigate the Zoom interface. The very first thing that we need to do is open up a web browser. I'm going to open up Google Chrome. But Zoom works with Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Safari, Firefox, and Google Chrome. So you can probably choose the browser of your liking. In the address bar, I'm going to enter zoom.us, Z-O-O-M dot U-S, and click enter. Once I land on the Zoom homepage, I'm going to click the join a meeting link. I'm going to paste the meeting ID number into the text bar here. I copied it before I started the video. Once you have the meeting ID number in the text bar, click the blue join button. Since we're going to be using Zoom to meet often, we recommend that you download and run the Zoom application. So click download and run Zoom. I'm going to save Zoom to my desktop because that's where I like to work from, but you can save it wherever you like. Once the installer has downloaded, double click it. Your computer will walk you through the steps that you need to take to download the Zoom application. The Zoom dialog box will open and you'll either sign in. I do have an account, but I'm just going to go ahead and click join a meeting. You don't have to create an account if you don't want to. I'm going to paste the meeting ID number in the text box. Make sure that my name is displayed the way that I want you all to see it. And then I go ahead and I click the don't connect to audio and turn off my video because I want to test my audio and video, especially the very first time that I join. I go ahead and click the blue join button. Once I'm in the meeting, I can join audio or start my video. I'm going to make the window here larger so that you can get the full effect. I can press escape to exit full screen mode. Down here, I'm going to click join audio. I can join with my computer audio or I can test the speaker and the microphone. Let's test the speaker and microphone first. Yes, I do hear a ringtone. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. Yes, I do hear a replay. Now I can go ahead and join with the computer audio. Next to that button, there is a menu where I can adjust the computer audio settings. Now I can start my video. Hi everybody. You can see me up in the corner. You can change views by clicking your options up here in this upper right hand corner. That's enough of that. <laughs> you can also edit your video settings from the menu next to the start video button. There's other buttons down here at the bottom. Let's go over them. You can invite people to the meeting via their email address or a URL. You can also see which participants are here in the meeting. You can see it's me and James. I can mute myself, but I can also raise my hand from the participants panel. Next, I can share the screen if James asks me to do so or the host of the meeting, and then I can chat. I'm sorry, say that again. I had all my sound muted. I was just sitting there. Oh, I'm just making the video and you hopped right in. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Should I uh, keep this part in? <laughs> yeah, you can use it as an example of what not to do. That's okay. <laughs> We're just going over the chat panel. <laughs> Thank you, Louise, for making what I'm sure will be a very useful video. I'll duck out again now. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Okay, once you open up the group chat panel, you can switch it from chatting with everyone to just chatting with a specific person. So I can send James a private message or I can send everyone a message. I can send everyone a file or I can send a file privately. And I can also save the chat once it's over. And if I want to uh, rid my 
workspace of those panels, I just click the X button. I can also record the entire Zoom meeting if I want to watch it later. And when I'm done, I just click the leave meeting button. And there you go. It's not that hard. Like I said, you can create an account if you want to by clicking the sign in button. You can sign in with Facebook, with Google, or with SSO if you want to. And you can choose to keep yourself signed in. There I am, all signed in. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and a little bit entertaining. If you have any questions, please email me at ljet, that's L-J-E-T-T, -T, at ethicalstl.org. I'll be happy to help. Take care. Bye.